from the cast doing more than necessary to objects misbehaving. Some moments that weren't planned for young Sheldon made the series even more fun. The relationship between Meemaw and Sheldon is one of the cutest things you see on young Sheldon. And while many of their encounters are scripted, the actor who plays Sheldon, Ian Armitage, may have overdone things a bit, especially in a scene where he gets to play video games with Meemaw. Behind you, monster, monster! I am! You're losing life, boys! Do something! Ian, a young boy, got to enjoy playing video games just like a child, making that part even more authentic. So even though the scene had the majority of it scripted, Ian was a bit hyped and added more to his reactions and obsession with the game as it made him feel exactly like a child again. So going out of script was just him enjoying some of the things he missed out on as a real kid. And of course, the show decided to keep it all in. Interestingly, what happens next in the scene explains further that Sheldon went too far with the video game moment with Meemaw. Excuse me. Is there a monster on this screen? Yes, ma'am. The same way Sheldon enjoys hanging out with Meemaw is the same way Meemaw enjoys spending time with Sheldon. Funnily enough, Annie Potts, who plays Meemaw, went outside the script a few times while dealing with the children on young Sheldon. And some of these moments were kept in the show. Annie had had some amazing experiences with kids, especially when she voiced Bo Peep's character from Toy Story. So it's easier for Annie to act more naturally with kids on set, making their bonding even easier. Have I done Bo Peep for you? Who has? And though some of the things Meemaw and the children joke about within the show weren't originally included in the script, the show had to keep them in because it makes it even better. Also, the fun ways Meemaw relates with the kids make her appear as a character who understands kids better and knows what they want to hear at all times. Georgie is one loving character who grew up right before the show's fans. However, the actor who portrayed Georgie, Montana Jordan, is even more fun in real life. So it's known that Georgie is very confident and appears to know what he's doing most of the time, except not all the time. Time. Well, you're in trouble now. Almost everything was scripted in that scene where Georgie was driving, from his reckless driving to hitting the garbage cart. But the actor Montana played the part too well by looking very scared with trembling hands, even though he's a perfect driver. So that tiny moment of the scene had to be included in the show because it made everything even more real and showed that Georgie was driving with limited knowledge of what it was about. Also, it's not the cast alone who can decide to go outside the storyline meant for the show, as objects on set like chairs have done more than expected, which becomes Comes so hilarious that it had to be kept in the show. And when he says that, the chair kind of squeaks and it sounds like he's, you know what it sounds like. Real cool. That scene, which perfectly drove home a funny point, wasn't meant to go that way. The way Georgie tried to adjust and look cool in that scene had the chair squeaking with an uneasy sound that made the scene even more creative. And of course, the chair wasn't planned to make the noises, but when it did, it made things even better, and they had no choice but to keep the amazing moment in the show. Aside from the extra chair, some objects beside Georgie also fell, making the moment even more embarrassing. And because all of these weren't meant to happen in that scene, they kept retaking the same scene about 30 times before calling it off and including the hilarious object sounds anyway. Although many fun moments got to be included in Young Sheldon to make the show even better, some sad moments were also not left out. When Missy had to run away from home with Paige, she looked excited at first, and that was because she was following the script. However, she looked terrified soon after, and that moment in the scene wasn't exactly planned for. Well, how fast are you going? I'm not going too fast. Maybe I'm going too slow. Should I speed up? Don't speed up. What are you doing? I don't know. Just maybe it's not for us. Pull over and let him pass. The actress, Reagan Revord, who plays Missy, looks scared because of her traumatic and disturbing experience with cars before filming that scene. The tragedy happened when Reagan was going to the set of young Sheldon with her mother, and they got into a crash with another car. So it was a crazy experience to have Reagan jump into a car on set after she just dealt with a scary experience involving cars. The actress revealed that it was especially difficult to do that scene because her real-life accident affected her greatly and temporarily made her lose her hearing. But the only good thing to come from this was that Reagan's experience helped to give Missy an expanded and emotional arc in the show, which made her look more vulnerable and made fans feel even sad for Missy. Although Reagan had some disturbing moments that made her character depressing in the show, the actress also had many goofy moments where she may have gone outside the script. So it gets better when Missy has a good chance to beat up a boy while they're playing baseball. Hit his <laughs> Missy! Missy, you stop beating up that boy! Punch him in the 
And Reagan enjoyed filming this so much that she almost lost herself as Meemaw screamed for her to beat the boy even better. But the scene was supposed to have her hear her mother also telling her to back down, just as she heard Meemaw loudly. However, the set was too busy, and Meemaw was louder than the rest, which was all Missy could hear and continue to do. But then, the moment went well and allowed Missy to be angry, which made sense for the part of the show and had to be included. Sheldon as a nerd is almost the whole point of the show, but there are also times viewers see Sheldon joke around and have fun. However, Ian, who plays the role, is very funny and likes to joke around and some of these moments were kept in the script, especially where he had to dance. So, Ian dancing looks so good that the director's new fans would be so glad to see the famous nerd do unusual things, which made this part get into the show even if it wasn't intended to be a part of it. Another fun but subtle moment in Young Sheldon is when the younger cast handles the props on set in interesting and careful ways. And of course, most of these actions weren't scripted, so it was just the cast acting subconsciously and taking good care of the set props because they didn't know much about many things that they worked with, like telephones and old television televisions, as the show was set in the 80s. And their continuous usage and enthusiasm for these objects always make their faces light up in an exciting way, which wasn't originally included in the script. But since the kids look more interesting with their fascination, those facial expressions and gentle handling had to be kept in the show. Also, it further portrays the point that there are limitations around the house on what they can use, and how far they can go ahead to use it, and their reactions make this even more genuine. One interesting fact about Young Sheldon is its consistency to keep up with the storylines from the Big Bang theory. However, the show kept more than the unscripted lines and even kept a close imitation of one of the cast from TBBT. Zoe Perry, who plays Mary in Young Sheldon, can be very funny, just like the older Mary in The Big Bang Theory, portrayed by Laurie Metcalf. But the crazy thing that many people aren't aware of is that Zoe Perry is the daughter of Laurie Metcalf, and even though it wasn't scripted to get someone closer to Laurie to play her younger version in Young Sheldon, it ended up happening. So when Zoe went for the role, it was obvious that she she knew how to betray her real-life mum better than anyone, which she did, even though it was challenging. The stakes of going into that audition were pretty high, especially in my own mind. I was like, oh, I don't want to screw this up. And even though it wasn't planned, young Sheldon managed to get the perfect fit to mimic Laurie's character, making the show even better. And they had no choice but to keep her in the series. Mimo is just the happy grandma everyone wishes to have because she isn't only fun, but very young and active in her grandkids' lives. But you won't believe that Annie Potts, who plays Mimo, even looks younger in real life compared to her on-screen character. According to the script, Mimo was meant to stick to her looks as a goofy and interesting grandma, who still dates and barely aged a day. But Annie declined, and decided to look authentic and genuine as a grandma with her grey hair, which was later included in the show. So, what do you think of these moments that weren't planned but had to be kept in young Sheldon? Let us know. Bye, guys!